This session will be a demonstration of the reports application and how we can work with reporting rates in DHIS2. We will start by covering an overview of the Reports app. Within the Reports app, we will look at dataset reports, resources, the organization unit distribution reports, and the reporting rate summary. We will also go through an example where we look at reporting rates in one of the analysis apps. We will use pivot tables in this example to demonstrate how we can use reporting rates. Let's go ahead and get started with the session. In this demonstration, we will discuss the reporting application as well as reporting rates. In order to access the reports application, we'll go to our apps, we'll filter reports, and we'll find the reports application. Within this application, there are a couple of different modules we can have a look at. We are going to focus on looking at the dataset report, the reporting rate summary, resources, and the organization unit distribution report. Let's start by having a look at the dataset report. Dataset reports allow us to create outputs that match what we would have seen if we were in the data entry screen. This is advantageous, however, as we cannot actually change any of the data from the dataset report. We can grant users access to this type of report so they can see the data, however, they won't be able to edit any of the data from this particular module. To define the dataset report, we start by selecting a dataset. Let's just select one of the example datasets that are available. We then select a reporting period. We can only select periods which correspond to the dataset's entry. So if this data is entered on a monthly basis, we cannot choose daily or weekly as the period type. We can, however, choose anything above monthly, and DHIS2 will aggregate the data within the dataset report. Let's start with a monthly report. We then select the specific period we are interested in reviewing. Next, we select the organization unit that we want to review. If this data is entered at the facility level, I can select any of the facilities. If I were to select a district, it will add up all the data from the facilities within that district to provide me with an output. Let's see what this looks like. We'll hit on Get Report, and we can see quickly we get a report for that particular facility. This closely reflects the data entry screen that users would see when they are entering data. But notice here, I cannot actually change any of the values. If I click on Data Criteria and select a District, and then hit Get Report, it now adds up the data values for all the facilities belonging to that particular district. Next, let's have a look at Resources. We'll click on Resources, and we'll see a number of different resources available. In the Resources page, we can upload a variety of different tools for our review. This can be links to other websites, our own internal reports, datasets, and other system-specific resources that we want to share with users. As an example, here we have a link to the Sustainable Development Goals website. We'll click on it and go to View Resource. This will load the particular website that we have the link for. Let's go back into DHIS. Within this page, we can also upload various resources to share with our users. As an example, we can download this particular data collection form. We'll click on it and then click on View Resource. It downloads this Word document to my computer, which I can open up. We can think about other uses for this particular resource section. This includes uploading annual reports or any other type of report or information that we want to share with our users.